Welcome back to another video relating to Sherry Arbor's story. In this video, I thought I'd record a little update on the actual light novel series itself, since, well, I'd have no other plans to do any more concepts and whatnot, so I thought I'd do a bit of talking this time. I'm recording this on the 30th of April, just so people know, and I've started editing the 8th volume for Sherry Arbor's story, so I'm making some good progress. We're on volume 8 of 14 now, so I'm in the other half of the first series of volumes. And, well, let's just say I'm doing my bits. Like, right now, I'm, uh, I've currently got a headache, and I'm really struggling right now to even record this, because I've recorded this, like, probably eight times now, trying to get it right. And, yeah, now I'm just getting into it now, because, like, I, I just feel like I just need to be more calmer with this, and, I guess, less professional. So yeah, I'm going to read some more of the bullet points on this, just to let you know I am reading this from bullet points. So, obviously I've already told you the date, uh, how often I'll do videos like these. So, my plan right now is to probably do one, like, maybe every two weeks? Or at least, like, if I can't think of an, like, if I can't think of a video idea relating to Sherry, or even put a Sherry ad in, like, my videos, then I'll probably, like, make a video like this again. Basically just saying, okay, I'm on volume this now, we keep going from there, you know? And <laughs> that's really it. Um, so as I said already, that I'm not really looking into making more concepts of the characters yet. I kind of want to focus more on, like, finishing the series, but at the same time, maybe I just need a little more, like, inspiration of, like, how the other characters will look and how I can write them and whatnot, you know? So obviously right now you're still seeing like Sherry's first concept, but I'd love to be able to get like concept of other characters in other styles just to see like what they could look like and how they might act more in the story rather than the way I'm writing them right now. I'm not going to lie though, like the way I look at Sherry here and see her in the story may be kind of different, but that's because like these are two different scenarios. Obviously this image is like a window of time into some part of Sherry's, like, story, and not, like, you know, her constantly, so, yeah. I think that's really it, actually, because I, literally, the other two bullet points just say some reason Sherry's videos, and I've already explained what the deal is with that, so I think I'll let everybody go for now. So, yeah, that's my little update. Hopefully, again, I'll be doing this every two weeks. Maybe monthly, it just depends on, like, what I feel like, and how much I'm working on the story itself, and if I'm working on other things, so yeah. Thank you so much for listening to this update. Obviously, if you want to stay up to date on Sherry Arbor's story, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and obviously hit the notification bell to make sure that you're updated of when I update Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series that I'm writing. Thanks again for listening. Welcome back to another update on Sherry Arbor's story. I know it's been quite a while since I've done one of these, but I thought I'd actually take the moment to sit down instead of streaming my life away. So for the first thing we're going to talk about is Claire's concept reveal. Obviously, recently I basically showed what Claire Frandon will look like in the story, and I gave a little explanation of who she is and, well, basically what she plays in the story. And yeah, that's actually really it. There's nothing else to say about that. I kind of just revealed that. And, but yeah, let's just move on. You can tell I haven't done this in a while because I'm stammering over my words. So, where are the videos? I know I just mentioned there, like, that I haven't done much videos. And it's literally because I've been streaming so much on Twitch. And I've been organizing all the VODs, making sure they all, like, go to the appropriate channels. And taking down certain content to re-upload it to the Archives channel. And making sure the Clips channel stays up to date. That I haven't really had much time to actually make more of these kind of videos. And plus, at the same time, I was kind of waiting for this moment until I completed the volume to actually make another one of these videos. Now, I know when it comes to Claire, I definitely want to do a kind of, like, profile thing. Like, describing bits about her, just like I did with Sherry. I just don't know when I'll do that or when I'll get it done. All I can say is that I hopefully will try and get that done before the next concept or after the next concept gets done. Now, speaking of uh, completing the volume, I just completed the ninth volume of 14 in Sherry Arbor's story. This means now that I'll actually finally be able to move on to 10, you know, if, if you can do a basic edition, that's how it goes. But this is huge because volume 9 was over... Actually, you know what? No, I won't give the number, just in case it massively changes. But let's just say it's the, like, longest 
volume to date. And if I keep up the quality within that and the other ones, the story will probably need like a second revision at some point. So, if I was to estimate how long volume 10 will take, it probably won't take too long. It's kind of a short volume anyway. I'd say like, in terms of editing it, I usually just edit like a single uh, chapter a day. And obviously depending on the chapter's size and what's in it, I can just either do it one day and move on to the next one. I could complete it and merge it with another chapter the next day, I could split it in two, so on and so forth. You know, there's so many different variables when it comes down to it that I'm not too sure. But I could say maybe, bef like, just under two weeks when it'll be done. Uh, let me think. I think there was, yeah, that amount. So yeah, at least under a week. Or two weeks, sorry. <laughs> I'm already, like, again, flipping over my words. So as I already, again, mentioned just there, after being on volume 9 for so long, and now obviously going to move on to volume 10 out of 14, I might actually have to do another revision. Now, I don't know, like right now I'm in a rewriting revision phase that I call like revision 1. And let me just say, like I've done a lot of work like to make sure the story is a lot more coherent than it used to be because there was basically like, I was basically writing three different versions of Sherry Arbor's story from basically like 1 to 4 to 5, maybe let's say 1 to 5, and then 5 to 9, and obviously uh, 10 to 13, the original amount of volumes before I added an extra volume. So, uh, because I've done that and I've done extra work and I've started learning more bits about how I should be going about writing this actual series, like by, for example, reading more books, I don't know if you heard that, but I've literally been reading more light novels and manga to get some inspiration on like how I should lay out basically Sherry Arbor's story. Like, a lot of different authors have their different ways of writing, and in school I was taught like there was basically the one way to write and one way only, which is a bit strange when like there's multiple different variations of writing and so on and so forth, you know? I don't know, maybe it's because like, you know, for example, this book I have here, the um, Full Metal Alchemist, The Land of Sand, a lot of the paragraph, well actually there's not really paragraphs, they're all like one blocks of text that just span for pages upon pages with the odd, like, paragraph-looking break, which really is just, like, usually a single word that somebody says or a sentence that somebody speaks. And again, I'm taking that, like, stuff on board to try and make Sherry Arbor's story better, which is why I propose that I might need to do a second revision, but I don't think I'll take as long on the second revision as I am now in the first revision, because in the second revision, I think I'll be able to retain a lot more of the knowledge and the stuff that's going on in the story this time compared to last time. And obviously, um, it's going to be a lot faster because I've already gone over bits, so I might actually have to increase the amount of chapters I edit a day. It also depends as well, I never mentioned, but sometimes, some days I'll just want to edit like a paragraph, some days I'll just want to edit a sentence, and then there'll be some other days where I just make a new volume within three days and there it's done, you know? I definitely have to go do a second revision now that I think about it because volume four was like freshly written in between uh, three and what originally was four, which is now five. So yeah, basically since, like, Claire's concept, you're probably wondering now, like, is there going to be any more concepts? Because, you know, I did Sherry, and now there's Claire. Who's next? What's next? So and so forth. I think the next one will definitely have to be another character. I don't think I'm going to show any locational stuff yet. But what I can say is the next character should hopefully uh, be in June. At least one more character... Uh, before I have to take a break in July for 10 days, which I cannot disclaim or disclose why. But obviously when I get back from uh, that time, from taking that time off, I'll explain everything. And hopefully after that time, I'll actually, you know, put more work and get another concept out and so, uh, so on and so forth. I might also mention just, well, not my, I will mention here that I am also probably going to be writing less during that 10 day period I was talking about. But I'll still be, like, I still have my tablet with me just in case. And I'll also, like, you know, just be resting now. Like, I think that's the main thing to do. I need to, like, take a moment to unplug, especially with all, like... Like, I'm a guy that doesn't have a job that do makes videos, well, quote-unquote makes videos. I kind of now just upload VODs and re-upload videos onto the archives and take them off of the main channels because of copyright reasons. I also live stream now. Uh, I might be reducing it to one a day instead of twice a day. 
and obviously I write Sherry Aubrey's story in the back as my excuses and job, which I feel like is a good enough excuse. I feel like I do put a lot of work into this story that, like, to not just be like, oh yeah, it's just a little side project I'm doing, it's nothing much. It's like, no, nah, I'm like, I'm dead serious when I say, like, I want to write this light novel series, at least to, like, the amount I've written so far, because, like, it'd be a shame to just... Well, I get it, especially because I'm moving on to volume 10 of 14, it'd be a shame to just drop it as if nothing happened, you know? Like, this is just like, imagine it's just because a story that just never gets told. Even if Sherry Arbor's story has the rockiest star, I'll hopefully be able to, you know, improve and be better as the volumes go on. Because the main plan is when I do release, like, well, actually get to the stage and hopefully be able to either self publish or publish uh, volume 1, I'm hoping at that point that, like, I'll be able to let everybody have a listen, or, well, yeah, listen or read if we can get some audiobooks done of it as well. I know I'm thinking a bit, like, high up in the sky, but, you know, you got to aim for the clouds if you're going to be able to get anywhere in life. But yeah, we're going to, like, do that, and obviously, if I get enough feedback, I'll definitely take it on board and then edit Volume 2 as Volume 1 is coming out and people are actually getting to read it and whatnot. But anyway... Thank you so much for listening to this video. This one's probably the longest update I've done so far because there was so much more I needed to say. There's still a few things I want to also say, but I think I'll save that for the next D3, uh, which should be happening around, I'd say, like maybe June 14th, 15th. It depends. It'll definitely be in June this time, not like last year where it was in winter. Which, by the way, D3 is my parody of E3, which is basically just an update video on how life and stuff is doing. And obviously, Sherry's going to be a part of the main attraction now, just for a little spoiler there. So if you'd like to hear more updates on this light novel series I'm writing, called Sherry Aubrey's Story, make sure to like the video if you liked it, comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I hope to see you all in the next update, which will most likely be D3. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back, back to this year's D3 2022. This time it isn't summer, unlike last year where I did it in winter because I completely forgot this series even existed. Now to start off for our news now, because we're not even going into anything else, because you know, you can already see me in a different model, and because I want to add this into the Sherry Arbor Story playlist, our first story for today obviously will be about Sherry Arbor Story's progress and the plan for after that. So. Sherry Opera Story, by the way, if anyone doesn't know, is a light novel series that I'm currently writing. I have 14 volumes planned, and I want to try and at least get the first one out within this year or the start of the next year, depending on how plans go. So, the progress so far is I just finished editing volume 11 again, well, actually editing over the volume from the first time writing it for the first time in a while, and now I will be moving on to volume 12 which will need a lot of re-editing and rewriting just because of what I did in volume 11. So that is simple, that is that. Another thing I must say whilst we're here is that I am also getting more concept arts done. I have at least one more concept art that I need to get, uh, or I'm waiting for, uh, that will come out hopefully sometime around the 22nd of June, and it'll be based on another character in the series. Don't worry, I'm not doing any repeats as of right now. Because there are quite a few characters in the actual light novel series itself that I want to make sure that people have some visual of them to know what they might be like. And now the plan basically is to keep editing the series until July. Then once July hits, I think I'll just keep editing it for a bit longer. Maybe look into how to, like what I need to do to get the story corrected over first before I start to try and either still publish a story or give it to a publisher to try and see if they'll take me on and let me publish it through their means. So yeah, obviously there's all that, and as I mentioned in between, that obviously in July I will be going on holiday, so the likelihood of the series actually being published and complete within July is kind of... it's not there. I'd say sometime in August is when I'll probably take it more seriously, along with trying to actually find a job, which of course I'll have more about that uh, when we move into D3 a bit more. Hello everybody, welcome to Sherry Arbor's first birthday. As far as I'm aware, it's also the first year or anniversary of when I started making Sherry Arbor's story in general. Because I remember there was a file 
thing. I like. I think I went to like the first like volume. I looked at its properties, and I think it said like first edited on the sixth of June or something like that, or at least it was finished edited on the sixth of June. So we'll just say it's at the first year anniversary for now. But you know, for for instance, you know, it's just like Cherry Albert's birthday. We we'll, just we'll use that. All right. Sorry for tripping over a bit of my words. I am a bit off script right now, and I'm literally only using videos on the screen as a bit um, or as a guide to telling you all what has happened so far, basically, and what you can expect after this birthday video. So, firstly, we have the first cringy meme I made of Sherry Arbor about being real, and it was basically just the concept, like, you know, first revealing, okay, I'm making a light novel series, here's what the main character looks like. The next one, then, uh, video, is a short piece, and it was taken from It's Time to Think, but I've basically changed it up a bit just for Sherry Arbor's story. The third video is Sherry Arbor's character profile, which gives five facts of information on Sherry Arbor herself. The next video after that is me reacting to the character concept designs before her finished design, which I will say, even remembering it now is so weird. It's like, it's such a weird thrill I went through at that time. And even now, because, uh, well, I'll reveal at the end of the video why. After that, I then went into a story summary of uh, who Sherry Aubrey is and what's her part in her own story. After that then I described bits about how Joe Flyer ties into the story and how he'll play a part. And then we finally reach the first story update. First one of two might I say. And technically this video is third anyway. I might just say Sherry Aubrey's birthday and then have like slash slash update two or three should I say. So, not much happened after that. A few weeks, I think, has passed. And then I finally get into making a new concept for Claire Frandon, the next character I revealed to be a part of Sherry Aubrey's story. Now, instead of a cringy meme like last time, I basically just did a reaction to her concept instead. Even revealing that during the development process, she actually had brown hair accidentally instead of uh, blonde hair. To be fair though, I did say dirty blonde and it was probably more dirty blonde than brown, but you know, we'll go with it from there. <laughs> we move on for a bit longer and we also see now a little short I made for not just YouTube but for TikTok as well. Just like how some TikToks are also made uh, relate to Sherry Albert's story. And the title of this short is called Have You Seen This Girl Before? And well, that's really it. It's just basically asking people if they've seen it before, describing Sherry Albert's story, basically advertising it then telling people to subscribe or follow at the end. Then we have story update two, which I do remember in story update two, I said like I think I was finishing volume nine or at least starting uh, volume 10, uh, which is good progress, I'm not gonna lie, because right now I'm near the end of uh, volume 10. I'm gonna move on to volume 11 soon out of 14. So yeah, that's all really all of that. And lastly, we have Claire Frandon's character profile, which is a bit shorter than Sherry's one. Because I thought, like, you know what, we won't delay it, we'll just have, like, the information show up on screen, have it scroll down, and then finish the video, you know? But yeah, as of now, I don't know if I'm going to actually make a summary for Claire, because I realise if I made a summary for everyone, eventually there's going to be, like, so much information that you can piece together about what the story is about, and so on and so forth. So I think I'll hold back this time and wait for the next character concept that's currently in development. Now I won't say who this character concept is, all I'll say is that they'll be revealed at the end of D3 2022, which I should be working on soon, uh, basically after this birthday video goes up and live. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this like little recap of basically me just, you know, basically just uh, taking a look over the last while of having Sherry Arbor be in the limelight and instead of just being a secret thing that I'm kind of just working on in the background. I do hope to continue making more videos, especially after D3. I don't know if I'll have another character concept up after D3, but we'll just have to see. Because as I said, in July I'm going to be going on holiday uh, for 10 days, so my likelihood to be able to work on Sherry Arbor's might diminish because, you know, I might actually want to have fun and detach myself for a bit <laughs> from like streaming and working on Sherry Arbor's story and making videos, so yeah. And I do know that after July, I'm definitely going to be looking more into getting an actual job rather than just waiting out now for the holiday because I decided since like nobody's really going to take me right now because I've nearly always been asked like, do you have a holiday planned? And every time I've answered it, I've just been denied. So 
Yeah, <laughs> go figure that somebody would not want to hire you if you already have a holiday planned and it's closer than ever, like basically next month. Because they want you all the time, you know? But anyway, enough of my uh, life. Thank you so much for watching this update video and birthday video. Happy birthday, Sherry. I actually think I forgot to say that. Uh, here's to another year, I guess, of working on Sherry Aubrey's story. And hopefully by next year, we'll have like, you know, volume one, like actually out and be available to read. If you like this update, make sure to like the video, comment on what you think of Sherry Aubrey's story and what you'd like to see next, even on like Sherry and Claire themselves, if there's something that I could do for them that I haven't done yet. And make sure to also subscribe if you want and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I'll see you again in another update video for Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series that I'm working on. Hello everyone, welcome back to another update on Sherry Arbor's story. I know it's been a while since I've made one of these and I was actually going to make one of these basically right after I revealed Lila's concept. But for the past, let's say, I think it was like, well, we'll just say week, under a week. I've been extremely sick, so I legitimately just could not add to Sherry Arbor's story. I couldn't edit videos. I couldn't even stream. I had to break my stream schedule just to be able to get better. But now that I'm feeling better and starting to get back into editing the story and starting to do my normal stuff again before my holiday, which I must mention as well, uh, I thought I'd actually give an update on Sherry Arbor's story, tell you a bit of the progress, what's going on, what's going to happen between now and my holiday, what's going to happen during the holiday, and what's going to happen after the holiday. So, obviously, I already mentioned just there, on the screen you're probably seeing her now, the uh, latest concept was Lila Corcoran, and yeah, that's really it actually, there's nothing else to say that I, except the fact that I revealed her as of uh, recording this. 12 days ago, which feels weird to think about, but yeah, it's been 12 days since I've revealed her last. And I will say this, like now, there probably won't be a new concept until I come back from holiday. Because uh, right now, I'm saving my money, I'm making sure I have money to go on holiday with. And plus, me and my friend were also talking about going to Comic-Con <laughs> after the holiday as well, so it's just like, we got that and then afterwards, Comic-Con. Which is going to be in Ireland, by the way, so this isn't going to be me, like, literally being a f rich, fancy c traveling from place to place. This is just, like, in Ireland, the uh, Comic-Con, so it should be alright. But yeah, sorry, apologies for the swearing. I know I said I tried to, like, to myself anyway, I try to cut most of that out, but sometimes I just naturally swear. It just is how it is. But anyway, back to the uh, Lila concept at hand. There won't be another concept, but if I do do another concept, it'll be after the holiday. And hopefully it'll be a male character this time that I do. Because I've done three female characters. I think it's time we start, like, <laughs> showing some male characters of the series. And then maybe even, like, Joe Snipe Flyer. Like, you know, he's a male. Maybe we could, like, actually finally get a proper concept of what the hero could look like. But I am thinking of a very particular idea for him. Rather than showing him in his hero attire because like i just my designs for joe's night flower has changed so much over time that i think i still need a bit more time before i can like hammer down okay this is what he is and this is what he does i do know though like he does very specific things so we're gonna have to make sure like if i do design him that like he could still do that whilst in his like uh hero design or hero suit we'll just say but anyway uh i will also mention here that like, as I said, I've been sick. Uh, everything was basically just stopped. Like there was a day where I basically just like suffered in bed for nine hours straight. So <laughs> there's like no progress. I was literally going to move on to volume 13, like under a week ago, but now I'm so far behind because of being sick. But honestly, it was worth taking that break. Like, my sides, like, my whole body decided to basically shut down, if you need to know. Like, my brain had a headache, my eyes were kind of a bit warm and, like, achy because of me staring at the screen all the time. My throat was in bits. Uh, I, I still kind of have some of that cough now, so I might just have to keep taking cough medicine for it. But it's not as bad as it was now, it feels normal. 
My breathing was a bit weird, just probably because of the heat, honestly. Like, the heat itself doesn't help. That also added to the factor and made me sweat a lot and feel warmer than I should be. My sides were aching like hell that, like, I couldn't even really get much sleep. I couldn't really get much sleep in general. And I lost my appetite basically completely. So, yeah, ju just... Just so you know, when I said I was sick, like, I mean sick. This isn't just me getting, like, a bit of the sniffles or even COVID. This is me, like, actually just suffering to death. But yeah, again, I should be good now. I cross my fingers and tap my head. Tap wood, should I say. Because I don't want to go on holiday and then there be something else wrong, you know. I want to actually see if I can enjoy, like, 10 days of my life away from Ireland. But yeah, now that I think about it, let me just mention that real quick. I did mention what I do before, after, before, during, and after the uh, holiday, and honestly, before, I think I'm just gonna just keep working as I normally am, or at least try to get some semblance of normality back by working as much as I can on my bits. Uh, YouTube and streaming all that is sorted for my holiday, but I just need to make sure, like, all the Sherry Arbor stuff is, like, uploaded to, um, my insert uh cloud here so i can like actually work on it whilst abroad but i also want to like say to myself as well though like if i really want to work on it or not i don't know i guess it's, it's just like if there's any downtime or any moment i'm like oh yeah bro um i want to show you this part of the story and do this this and this because i know like if i was on track by now i probably could have finished re-editing the whole series by now before i went on holiday and like whilst i'm on holiday i could just do like little edits of little bits but that's the problem though because sometimes when i do a little edit in the series it ripples out and just completely changes how like the rest of volumes are viewed you know like even now like i did a little change like two volumes ago and it's still kind of showing now it's only starting to kind of taper out now, but like it's definitely going to show its head again in the last volume. And even though I'm editing the second last volume, so ep er, episode, uh, volume 13 of uh, 14, I, I've been kind of thinking of doing a volume 15, but I also have been thinking that maybe volume 15 should just be the start of series 2. And the way I tie in what I have the idea for for volume 15 for uh, series 1, with basically just to introduce series two, just like, yeah, this happened and this happened and that's why we're doing this, you know? If you want to view these volumes as anything, volumes 1 to 14 is like season 1. Volumes 15 onwards will be like season 2. And honestly, like, there's still a lot of plans for me to start doing different bits in the future. I just gotta, like, I just need the main pointers to follow for now like i did with 1 to 14 and i hopefully will be able to continue writing like a story i can't guarantee that i'm writing the world's best story here but i can guarantee that i am writing a story and a story that i want to write you know that's just how it is but i will admit i have been a bit iffy about this current volume because like i won't mention why or what it is but the theme of it i feel like is kind of it's kind of shoehorned in, but I kind of hinted at it happening, though, at the same time. But I, I, another part of me is legit so lazy, because it's like, oh, bro, if I remove this whole thing, though, then I'm going to have to rewrite all of, like, 1 to 12 again, and it's a mess. Let's just say that I've seen some of the titles of the chapters, and I'm like, okay, maybe there's a chance we can make this work a lot better than I think it is, you know? Or maybe I just forgot how well it ties in, and I'm about to find out in the next few days. Anyway, sorry, I went with, like, ranting there and off-topic. I, I have, I'm not even following my, like, uh, bullet point list anymore. So let's get back to it. So, because there's not going to be a concept there, is there going to be any, um, original soundtrack piece? And yes, we'll get back to the whole holiday thing, what I'll do before, after, and during. But, will there new, be a new OST piece? Not, I don't think as of right now. Unless I have an idea and I want to complete it before I go on holiday, I don't think I'll have another one. But I'm not gonna lie, there was this, like, song I listened to recently that's, like, inspired from the anime it's listening to, and it sounds so similar to it. It's just encouraged me now. It's just like, bro, you know, if these people can do it and make it sound good, I can try, you know? Like, I I'm not saying I'm writing masterpieces, like, of a soundtrack here, but, like, 
what I wrote there is so much better than like some of the things I wrote in college. Not saying it's better than It's Time To Think. It's Time To Think will always be like my first and best song in my opinion. Like out of every other song piece I've done. But until I beat that, like I just need to basically just aim to start climbing that ladder again and see if I can get there. And plus these are like soundtrack pieces. These are not like actual songs, you know, that's the difference. But anyway, so let's bring the topic back to the holiday. So on the 21st, I will be heading to America and I will be uh, leaving the Irish soil for 10 days. So 21st or 31st. So before then, I will be working as, m as much as I can, basically. Well, not even as much as I can, just at my normal pace. As long as the weather, like, start decides to actually calm down for a bit. Because I, I think it's like around 20 degrees right now and I'm already sweating. And the window's open and it's still warm. But I will say that during the holiday, it'd be lovely to get some pieces and bits done for the story. Like, it, I don't even have to do main story pieces either. Because, like, there's kind of this, like, side thing, like, notes kind of, like, stuff that I always have. Where I'm like, you know, I could just write bits in the notes and maybe rearrange a few of the notes around. Because something, like, at first the notes were really organized. But then they started to become a bit disorganized because there's so much, like, stuff that I've added to the notes. Like, hold on, I need to open it right now. So, like, even just the one I'm looking at right now is just, like, the character profile. It's 87 pages with 10,000 words, and it has, oh wow, yeah, I, I can't even count how many names that is. That That's just a lot of names. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not even joking. And like, some of these characters don't even really reappear that often as well. But I've still written them down to try and give them thing. And that's another thing actually I could do as well whilst I'm on holiday, is give the character profiles a bit more flesh. Because, like, right now it's just bullet points, but if I could try and do more for them, I probably could. Like, even just giving each of them their own, like, kind of paragraph and their own kind of story of what I remember that character being like in the story, you know? It could be really helpful. Uh, and then, obviously, after the uh, holiday, I'm probably going to take a day break. Because, like, there's no way I'm going to be up for anything after today. And even when I get to America as well, I'm probably going to be jet lagged. I guarantee jet lag will be one of the things that will affect me. So, yeah, there is that. Um, I will also mention that, like, after the holiday, and maybe even, like, after, like, Comic-Con, I think that's when, like, I know I said I'd get a job and stuff, but now, like, after hearing more and more about how horrible, like, it is to just work in retail and for minimum wage, the more it's, like, encouraged me to just be, like, just focus on my own stuff, you know? Like, I mean, if I can still, like, live comfortably the way I am now and still like write this story then I should really just take advantage of that and just use it you know so thank you so much for listening to this update this will be the last one in a while obviously if you're also listening to this and you've uh, been watching my streams yes this does also mean that I basically won't be streaming at all from the 21st to the uh, 31st. I don't even think I'll be streaming on the 20th, if I'm being honest. Because the 20th is the day before, and, like, I think uh, me and my mate are going to be, like, preparing for to uh, get to the airport, like, for the next day. Um, I will mention, though, that if I can still log into Twitch whilst in America, I probably will uh, maybe do, like, just one odd stream, just be, like, yo i'm checking in from america how is everyone doing you know that kind of stuff but i don't know that that just depends i i, I mean like i will admit like it'd be kind of cool to do an episode of the night flare podcast whilst i'm there but anyway sorry I'm, I'm actually starting to talk about channel stuff now not about sherry Arbor's story so yeah uh as much as it pains me to say this like this will be probably the last sherry Arbor's related update in a while if you want to listen to anything else I have to say about Sherry Arbor's story, make sure to tune in to my Twitch streams and ask me live. Because honestly, like, there's not many people there. So if you want to just, like, pop in, ask a quick question, I'll probably be, I'll probably be there around, I'd say, I think it's, like, uh, half 12 GMT. Basically nearly till, like, I'd say around 4 o'clock. And sometime, I'd say, after half four to, like, maybe even nearly, like, eight o'clock. Those are kind of, like, my times when I stream. So, yeah. Again, thank you so much for listening 
to this update of Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series that I'm working on. Make sure to like this video if you liked it, comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire, because this is the channel where all of these updates will be going from now on, on Joseph Nightflyer's clips. And yeah, thank you so much for listening. Hello everyone, welcome back to the fifth update for Sherry Arbor's story. Now, I know it's legitimately been... How long now? It feels like at least a month now since I've done one of these last. And like even last time I did warn everyone that like it would be a while before I come back to doing these because I was going on holiday to America. And when I came back, I've been busy enough doing various things in my own life. But we're not here to discuss any of that. We're here to discuss Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series that I'm currently working on. So... Obviously, as you know, this is the fifth update, and unfortunately, by this update, I have no new concept, and I don't even have a new music piece for, like, anyone to listen to right now. Uh, the main reason I wanted to do this is because it's been a while since I've, dub up like, updated everyone, and it's also been, like, um, whatchamacallit? I just finished, like, editing volume 13, so I thought, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, whilst I go into editing volume 14, I might as well update everybody to let everybody know that basically I'm editing the last volume right now. At least this is the first revision. As I've said before in the past, I'm probably going to have to do a second revision, but it's more confirmed now that I will be doing a second revision of the whole story before I push forward and maybe even do a third revision of the whole story. Like, I just want to make sure I just have everything as neat as possible, tying in, all that fun stuff, you know? So, yeah, now that I think about it, I've honestly mentioned the majority of the things I was going to mention already. I have, like, five bullet points here, and they're all, they were all mentioned in that, like, sentence. Like, I don't know how I just did that. But you know what? We'll go with it. Uh, one thing I will say, though, is that hopefully the silence will be over for now. Like, hopefully to be... I, I can't promise anything, but my, like, what I'd like to do next is do another Sherry Arbor story update or a different kind of update kind of video. Maybe, like, at the end of when I'm done editing volume 14, so then I can tell everyone, like, basically what's the plan, you know, with the revisions and stuff and what else I'm going to be doing moving forward. Because as of right now, as I've mentioned, there's no new concept or even music pieces for me to show you. But that does not mean that I haven't been kind of working on one. Like, I know I definitely want to get another character concept done, but I can't guarantee it by the end of the month because I'm still a bit wishy-washy on, like, if I want this character concept done or not. Because I could change my mind and go on to someone else different, which is something I haven't done, I think, since I got Claire's uh, art piece commissioned. So, yeah. So, since I can't... Uh, reveal much new stuff. I thought I'd take this moment to actually reveal one of the tags that I at least would say that Sherry Arbor's story is within. Now this is subject to change, this isn't guaranteed, and it is the safest tag for me to basically say because, you know, like in some of the character profiles you may have noticed it. But one of the tags for um, Sherry Arbor's story, I'd have to say, could be slice of life. Now, not slice of life in the, like, actual, like, usual sense, but in terms of the characters in the story, like, it's their kind of, like, norm, like, normality to life, where they just have, like, superheroes, like, over here and there, like, Joe Snyder Flyer and all that, just flying around and saving everyone. So, that's why I said this one's a bit, like, I don't know, it's a bit wishy-washy, because I'm not entirely sure if I can say it's a slice of life. Because of that kind of factor and a few other factors as well. Obviously, like, maybe you wouldn't really count it as that. But I wouldn't really even count the story as a superhero kind of story either. Because, again, we're not focusing on Joe's Night Flyer. We're focusing on Sherry Arbor. Um, oh, and another announcement, actually, because I was about to finish up there. One other announcement I have is that I might finally be getting Sherry Arbor's story its own YouTube channel. Or at least rebranding... The Night Flyer to being that kind of channel. And the main reason is because it's just like, I'm not really playing as much Destiny nowadays, and all I'm uploading to that channel now are streams. So, if anything, it'd be nice to be able to basically just take those streams, like future Destiny streams, and just put them on the Joe's Night Flyer channel all the way, 
whilst obviously putting all these updates and stuff on that actual channel in the future, along with uploading it to uh, Joe Snow Flair's clips as well, just so like the, you know, I have multiple places for these videos and it's not just the one place. But that depends on how lazy I am with uploading these videos though. So yeah, um, hopefully next time I talk to you, I'll either have a concept piece done, maybe if I'm bothered I'll actually go back and make another music piece, maybe next time we'll have another tag introduced, <laughs> but hopefully not because like the story is kind of still being shaped so maybe I shouldn't be giving away too many tags, but again, Slice of Life is a weird one, it's like half Slice of Life and half not it. And obviously, like, the other reason I'll do another update is basically to inform everyone that I've finished editing Volume 14 and, you know, we'll have to see where we go from there, basically, with the progress of Sherry Arbor's story. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Comment on what you think of Sherry Arbor's story thus far and if there's any th questions you have about it, obviously I'll throw it into the next update video. And then maybe we'll have a little question segment. And obviously make sure to subscribe to the Joseph Light Flyers Clips channel for more updates on Sherry Arbor's story. Unless you're seeing this on the actual Sherry Arbor story YouTube channel, then obviously subscribe to that instead. Thank you again so much for listening, and I'll see you all in the next update. Hello everyone, welcome back to an air update on Sherry Arbor's story, the sixth one in particular. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually kind of amazing to see that number six and realize, damn, we've really gotten six updates on this, and I haven't given up on making updates yet. But yeah, anyway, we will proceed through uh, with some of the bullet points that I have on screen right now, and obviously talk about the stuff that's been happening recently. So, one of the major things that's happened since I come back from holiday is that the f uh, concept for Joe Night Flyer has been made. And you may be able to see that on screen right now, because I'm probably going to use that like as the like background image, and I'm probably going to use that in the thumbnail as well, because it's hard not to, you know? Got to show off all the new concept stuff, you know? And I also would like to say that I'm in the works now of drafting up a description for the next character concept, which I hope to get done sometime during this month. Just right now, I'm a bit anxious about like asking artists to do work for me again and I'm, I'm just like taking it easy right now until I'm like okay now I'm ready to just get this because this next piece is a bit um risque we'll say in a sense but I won't say too much more about it right so other than Joseph and Flair being revealed and the next concept basically being teased at the first revision of the entire story of Sherry Albert's story from 1 to 14 has finally been finished I finished this now a few days ago, but obviously I've been doing the other Joe's Night Flyer videos first before I came in and did this update video. And, well, actually, let me just explain real quick what Revision 1 even was. So, Revision 1 was basically, um, as I was explaining before to some people, the it was, a, it was for me to go over the story again, because the story itself kind of felt like it was being told in like three different like points of view like three different timelines and the best way I described it it's like it's like these timelines that are like trying to converge with each other but like just bounce off each other and it's like they're all like the, it's like if I took like for example like 1 to 5 and maybe 5 to 10 and then um 11 to what should we call it uh, 14 basically they were like three different like Sherry Arbor story but because I did this whole revision one and it's taken me a long time, a stupidly long time, but it's taken me a long time and I've done it now, I've actually managed to turn these, what I'll just say, three timelines and make them one. So the same story is being told from volume one up to 14 and hopefully beyond, because I'm not going to lie, I got a bit giddy at the end and I was going to do a volume 15, but right now I'm deciding to hold off on that and just stick with one to 14 for now. So, because Revision 1 is done, what's happening next? Well, right now, I'm actually going through what's called Revision 1.1 because uh, back ages ago, when I was editing Volume uh, 3, I said to myself that I needed a Volume 4 that would go in between the current 3 and 4. And then I did, I made it, and let's just say I'm touching it up again just to make sure it's up to par with the other volumes, and even just that, like, Revision 1 also entitles me, like, well, not entitles me, but has me go through all of them just to make sure, like, they've all got their table of contents, page numbers, 
uh, like all the text is justified, the titles are all centered, you know, little stuff like that. Apologies, I can't remember what I was saying there because I had to cut that out. But I was just talking about Revision 2 and how I'm going to probably have to just like show that, like after that, like if I don't feel like I need to do a second revision fully, I'll just show it to other people and then maybe Revision 2 also entitles me just basically just getting feedback from people putting that feedback in and keep going from there. And I think honestly during that time, like if I'm showing other people and doing little bits and going back and forth with it, like let's just say volume one, at that point I'm probably gonna be looking around to either self-publish Sherry Arbor story or even like see if any book publishers in Ireland want to publish this story, which I'm not gonna lie, is very doubtful, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they just won't like the layout and design of Sherry Arbor story and the anime kind of look to it. I don't know why. I just feel like they like frown against that and be like, oh, this is meant for like, for example, I think right now, like Sherry Alber is best described for like young teen or sorry, not young teen, teen and young adults. That's it. I was, <laughs> I was getting that confused there for a minute. And yeah, so that's where all that is right now. So uh, one thing I didn't mention about the concepts uh, art, by the way, is that I'm actually planning to try and make this a monthly thing. I don't know if I said it last update, but I'm going to reiterate it again. That's why I'm actually making efforts to try and get this next concept uh, character concept in the works, should I say? Sorry, my words have gone completely sideways there. And obviously, once I get that done, I'll wait till next month, and then the next month I'll get another one done, and so on and so forth. And obviously, that'll also depend on variations. Like, for example, if I do reach revision two, and I'm in the stages where I need to get, like, volume one all polished up, like, I'll probably be ordering a lot of, like, artwork for that because I don't imagine I'm just going to publish the book with just one art piece on the front cover and maybe one on the back cover as well. I'd like to try and get some, like, pictures maybe in between it. And I've also even thought of putting, like, maybe character profiles, like, in between, like, every few chapters because I thought that'd be just kind of cool to do. But that'll all depend. We'll have to see later. And lastly, I need to update everyone on the Sherry Arbor Story YouTube channel update. Now, obviously, in the future, you might be watching this on that channel, but if you didn't know, this video is currently on uh, Joseph Knight Flyers Clips. I was going to say the Flyers Clips again, because that's what the channel used to be called. But the channel, uh, the Night Flyer, is currently still being excavated. Now it's just down to getting all the videos out of there and putting it on the archives and on the uh, Joseph Knight Flyers Clips channel, the one you're probably watching this on as well. So, yeah, once all that is done and the three videos that are currently out get, like, completely removed and, like, to the other channels too, I will then start the process of having, like, Sherry Arbor story uploads, like, basically upload once a day until they're all done. And obviously during that time, if I do, like, new videos in relation to Sherry Arbor story, I'll probably just, like, upload it to the Joe Smith Flyers Clips channel for now until all the old, like, updates are all done and then we'll go from there. Right, thank you all so much for listening to this update. I know it's been quite a long one, not really, actually it's been probably on the shorter side if I'm being honest, but I'm going to have to do a little bit of editing in this one so it might be a bit shorter than I think it is. Thank you so much for looking at the sixth update for Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series that I'm currently working on. I genuinely feel like, depending on how things go and my motivation to keep working on the story, Sherry Arbor's story is looking basically for a release date of next year, I'd say. Like, sometime next year is actually probably the most plausible time it'll come out. Which is bizarre to think about, but yeah, we'll just have to see how that goes. I can't make any promises, so I'll stop talking about it. But if you do like this video, obviously like it. Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I'll catch you all in the next video, whether that be a concept art video, an update video, or whatever other video I plan to do for Sherry Arbor's story. Hello everyone, welcome back to another update video on Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series that I'm currently working on, in particular volume 1, but I'll explain that more later. So, first of all, before I even get into the bullet points, I kinda messed up the recording for uh, the next character concept, so in a few seconds here I will show you that concept and then we'll start to discuss what's happening with Sherry Arbor's story as of late. So, in the background, I'd like to introduce the new character concept for Psycho Patricia, or Psycho Pat, as Joseph Nightflyer would call her. She is going to be one of the villains that plays a part in the background of Sherry Arbor's story, should I say, and is basically one of Joseph Nightflyer's long-form enemies. She's been around basically since, like, 
well, since he's been a hero. So, yeah, just thought I'd say that real quick. I have no other bits to add here now, for now anyway, unless you want me to go back over the concept and start describing it, showing the different pictures and stuff. Because I did already record a video for it, like I usually would when I'm doing a concept uh, character reveal. But let's just say uh, I didn't properly record my mic. So, yeah, that footage is now completely useless to me and I am crying on the inside. But hey, that's why I'm recording this update video now to give myself an excuse to actually do something with Sherry Arbor's story today. So, moving on from that blunder, that's it actually, I just realized the first point on my little thing here says, Joe Smith Flyer's enemy has finally got a concept. And honestly, it's just, it's weird to see. I have other things I'd like to say about the concept piece, but I don't think I'll mention them here. Again, if you want a video on that, I could do like maybe a different kind of one instead of a character concept reveal, it's more of like a character concept breakdown, and we can go from there. I do know though that I need to remember to actually write a backstory for her, but I don't know if her backstory might be a bit too dark for Sherry Arbor's story, so I might have to just cut it out completely or just not mention her backstory whatsoever. Or at least mention her current role within Sherry Arbor's story when facing Joseph Nightflyer in the background. But anyway, I am also glad to say that Revision 2 is finally underway. I know in the last update I talked about there being like the first revision and how that was done and how we went into revision like 1.1 and I think it even went into 1.2 briefly as well. But now I'm finally in revision 2 and I'm solely focusing on polishing up volume 1 as much as I can with the help of Grammarly, not sponsored. It's just I thought I'd have an app at least to tell me thing. I'm not gonna lie though, it's annoying when Grammarly tells me one thing and then the Word document tells me another thing about the same mistake. So I don't know who to trust, but you know what, I'll just go on intuition for that one. I'm also thinking of like how much more different sections the story needs for volume one, because I only had like the initial, okay, here's like the table of contents, here's the chapters, and here's the blurb. I never really had as much stuff as I do have in it now. And obviously I'm gonna have to make sure to like add bits into that and polish that up as well. So volume one may take a bit of time, but it won't be as long as like rewriting the entire series. Cause obviously revision one had to be done to make sure the story was coherent from volume one to 14, or at least coherent in my mind. And obviously, as I already said, I'm just editing volume one. Essentially, as I said, like I'm gonna just polish it up. And I think from there, I'm gonna have someone else read it them eh, then get opinions from them and obviously from there i'm gonna have to think about advertisements i'm gonna have to think about if i want to self-publish if i want to um get a publisher to help me publish it uh which i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of scared for because i really don't trust anyone to be given out like all the rights to story stuff because you know i've like as much as the story mightn't be the best in the world i've put so much time into the story and it'd be a shame if I just handed over the rights to the story and it doesn't do well and they just keep the majority of the money because of a weird contract I sign, you know? Like I know for a fact if I can and if I can do it cheaply, I will probably get a lawyer to read over terms and conditions for any contracts that head my way, if they do head my way that is obviously. And uh, yeah, after that polishing up, hopefully then we'll look into like, you know, hopefully releasing it next year at some point, you know? That's the whole big thing now about this, it's like actually getting the story out there. Um, yeah, actually th th there's nothing else to mention there, I just needed to go on that little rant real quick. So, um, all I'll say as well actually in regards to concept pieces, is I was planning to do, not kinda like concept pieces, but more artwork, uh, in relation to my channels and my Twitch and Sherry Opera story all together, but I've decided to hold off for a bit because I've spent too much money this month, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was like in Northern Ireland uh, Comic Con, which is why, so yeah. So for now, I think I'll hold off and get more art pieces, unless I can, because these art pieces I'm thinking of getting are actually extremely cheap because of the size of them. If I change my mind, I might get one or two of them done, but if I don't, then expect next month to have more art, but not exactly concepts. Which, again, I'd have to explain next month why it's like art and not concepts. So, Sherry Aubrey's, uh, whatchamacallit, first meme, the thing that introduced her into the world, that video in and upon itself has over a hundred views. I think it's the one of the first, well, I say one of the first, it's one of the first non-short videos to hit over 100 views and I'm just, I'm very thankful for that, like, 
like it, it's easy for me to get caught up in like oh my best video on this channel has 50k views and this one has uh, a few thousand it's like seeing sherry Arbor's story have like hundreds of views on some of the shorts and obviously that one video as well it's just it, it's surreal that's all i'm gonna say like i i don't have anything else to comment on i, I just i just needed to add that in there because like when it comes to me and like viewership YouTube means more to me than TikTok because like on TikTok as um, egotistical as this sounds it's not that hard to hit 100 views on a TikTok if you know what you're doing. Like if you look at my TikTok account right now you'll see that like I'd say like at least the top few are like in the hundreds and there might be one that's just under 100 but other than that like you know not too difficult. Sorry I, I really do sound like a horrible person. I'm gonna just stop talking about it. We don't need any stats or anything like that. We're here for Sherry Arbor's story. Which, uh, speaking on that, the last thing I gotta say for today, for today's uh, update on Sherry Arbor's story, is the fact that the uh, Sherry Arbor's story YouTube channel, I think I'm gonna start finally uploading to that channel soon. And obviously if you've seen this channel or this video on the channel in the future, hi. Make sure to subscribe to this channel now, not Joe's Night Flares Clips. Uh, because it's taken me a long time to like remove all the videos in the background and put them onto the like appropriate channels and whatnot. So I might just have to like straight up just upload Sherry Arbor stuff and remove the old like the Night Flyer, Dark Night Flyer videos just to like actually get the channel finally in motion and to stop like worrying about uploading Sherry Arbor story to this multitude of channels. It's like oh wait, am I putting it here here? It's like nah, Joe. We got the clips, like the shorts, so you can put them on the Flyers, or Joe's Night Flyers clips. You can put it also on Sherry Albers' channel. And at the same time, the actual Sherry Albers story update videos and all the other bits in between. Those can just be solely uploaded to Sherry Albers' story's YouTube channel. And honestly, that's all I really need to say about that. It's just like, maybe, like, I might still upload this one to the Joe's Night Flyers clips channel. And then maybe, I think, like... If I do a psycho pack kind of like a uh, summary video, I'll hopefully like after that, like, well, maybe next month, I guess at that point, start to finally like upload just to the actual Sherry Arbor story channel. But anyway, sorry for ranting a lot at the end there. And actually just sorry for ranting quite a bit in this update video. I know you're mostly here for like the update on Sherry Arbor story, the light novel series that I'm currently working on where I'm only working on the first volume. It's a work in progress. I'm trying to change it up a bit. You know how I usually go like, uh, Welcome back to another update on Sherry Arbor's story. The light novel series that I'm currently working on. I want to try and like change it up a bit. Because I feel like once we get into the stages of like publishing, then it's like, Hello, welcome back to Sherry Arbor's story. Or an update on Sherry Arbor's story. The light novel series I'm trying to publish right now. <laughs> you know, something like that. But obviously that is if we reach that stage. Which hopefully we will. But anyway. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Obviously, if you like this video, make sure to like it, comment, and subscribe if you want, whilst hitting the bell if you do so desire. And I shall see you in the next video in regards to Sherry Arbor's story. Hello everyone, welcome back to another update on Sherry Arbor's story. The eighth update, actually, to be uh, particular. And today is going to be a bit of a short one. I know I haven't really done much in terms of Sherry Arbor's story in a while, but I've kind of just been waiting for this channel to actually catch up before doing this update because the first thing I need to actually mention basically is the fact that from now on these normal videos you've been seeing like all these updates and character concept reveals and whatnot they'll all be exclusively now on the Sherry Arbor Story YouTube channel. Of course there's the exception of having shorts which will be on this channel and will also be uploaded to Joe's Night Flyers clips as well. Now honestly with that out of the way let's talk about what actually happened recently. So, recently, the uh, logo for Sherry Arbor Story was revealed, and of course you've seen that in the thumbnail, and you're probably seeing that on screen right now. And again, the more I look at it, the more I just love it. I've not really much else to say about it, it's just, it's lovely. That's all I really need to say. So, when it comes to me re-editing Volume 1 and going over and over, uh, I will admit, I did re-edit Volume 1 once, and it took a bit. And then I decided to actually write a bit of uh, Volume 14.5. But I haven't even finished it because I went back then to revising over Volume 1 again. But I must say, as of right now, I'm weirdly kind of breezing through the edits now of, like, Volume 1. Like, there's not much for me to edit as much anymore. So hopefully, 
when I actually finish this edit, maybe even the next edit after that, I'll actually finally hand what I have over to the uh, proper people so that they can look at my work and they can tell me if it's good or that it needs to be improved or help me improve it and also help me actually get it in the eyes of publishers to see if like it's recommended enough and if they'll get, basically get rejected or not. Because I did look into the process and I can't legit just go straight up and give like a publisher what I have because like I need to go through some other steps, especially when it comes to being in like uh, Ireland and the UK just to get it uh, scanned. But like, I don't know if this would then completely like, you know, squash my creativity with Sherry Arbor's story, especially because like, there might be things in the story that like, they might be like, uh, why does he have this in? That's kind of a bit off to us, you know, because like, I'm still writing Sherry Arbor's story in the perspective of an anime and it's obviously hard not to, obviously, because all the concepts have been anime based. So yeah. I don't have any news for now on that. All I can say is that I'm still editing volume 1 and when I get bored of editing volume 1 I go to 14.5 and I basically write from there. I'd like to think I'm moving over one for one and sometimes I just don't edit on a day because I'm like right now in my life I'm just kind of trying to chill seeing if I can hear back from anyone who actually wants to like hire me for a job and then once I like hopefully eventually get a job I'd like to be able to gauge how my life will be from there. Like, what will I have to drop and what will I not have to drop? Will, can like can I still edit Sherry Albert's story and have a job? Or will I struggle with both and not be able to give myself free time, etc. And I must say as well, though, I don't know if I completely trust the services that I've been looking at that basically will, like, look over my stuff and help me, like, you know, basically just improve Volume 1 to its max potential. And I'm also, all like, kind of struggling as well to think, like, okay, do I get, like, all the art now and choose an artist and do that? Do I need to tell the artist in advance? Like, what do I need to do with that? Again, I'll look into all that stuff. I'll definitely have it boiling in the back of my head all the time. So on stream, if I'm probably not talking, I'm either thinking about that or I'm just having an existential crisis. So, if I do actually get into making another or commissioning another art piece for Sherry Albert's story, even though I just mentioned there that, like, I'm kind of struggling to think about what I need to do next, even though there is kind of, like, at least one or two more pieces I might need to do, maybe one at most. Um, I won't say what it is yet. Uh, I probably already mentioned it, but I won't say it anyway, just in case you weren't listening. But basically, I definitely would need another concept for this character, and then I'd look into, like, finalizing what art style I'd like for Sherry Arbor's story. Getting, basically, all the things done. So, the cover of the book uh, and the few pictures that I need inside of uh, Sherry Arbor's story done. Uh, it's basically, if you count that, it's, like, basically three art pieces I'd need total. But this piece comes before, like, basically the final art. Or at least what I'd like to be near enough to the final art. Uh, like, a kind of mock-up of the book. And, yeah, that's all I really need to mention. I don't think we're going to have anything too new. Like, maybe if I decide to do, like, some environment designs of the areas, like, I might consider getting one of those kind of done. Like, like maybe a drawing of, like, somewhere into Indara Bay, maybe even a drawing of, like, Sherry's house or something. But, like, even then, I don't know. I don't really know if it's necessary. Uh, I think I just need to focus on, like, just volume one, getting the pieces done that's needed for that and go from there. Right, so when it comes to the Sherry Arbor Story YouTube channel, as you may have noticed, I already said there at the start that now this channel is going to be exclusively where all the uploads come first. And I also didn't actually mention that, but for the shorts and like for Sherry Arbor Story, it'll basically be the short comes up on uh, the Sherry Arbor Story YouTube channel first. And then on the Joseph Night Flyers Clips channel, it'll reappear there. Basically, a bit after, maybe like a day after, maybe same day if I'm lazy. <laughs> but um, I'm still moving videos from that channel, so yeah, sorry, you're going to have to bear with me for a bit longer. It's still going to be called Sherry Arbor Story, in brackets then, it's going to be like the knife flyer after it. But soon I hope to like actually move everything I need to move, and then finally name the channel its final name, and make the final video addressing the channel change. Um, which will probably happen, like, hopefully, like, I'm hoping to end this by the end of the year, but 
we're just gonna have to wait and see. And I'd love to I, like finally call the channel like Sherry Arbor Story official YouTube channel or something like that, or maybe even just official channel. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this update video. I don't know if I'm going to have much in the works for Sherry Albert Story as of right now because, again, I'm kind of just working on Volume 1 and going from there. Uh, obviously, if you want to keep up to date on Sherry Albert Story, you can also just follow me on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash Flyer, And you can ask me live there. I usually just mumble to myself anyway about Sherry Albert Story. So, like, if you're lucky, you might just listen in to me just talking to myself about Sherry Albert Story. But or not. Uh, if you liked the video, obviously like it, comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I'll see you all in the next video. Hello everyone, welcome back to a near update video on Sherry Arbor's story. The light novel series that I'm currently working on. Now honestly, for me, if it's felt like quite a while since I made a video for Sherry Arbor's story. So I thought, you know what, I'll sit down here at the start of November. 3rd of November, you know, it's still the start. And I'd actually start talking more a bit about Sherry Arbor's story. So, as you may have noticed, uh, there's no, n there's nothing new as of right now. Because, like, legit, last month, it was like, I only got the um, concept for the logo done. And that was just easy. Like, I, th I think that took, like, two days for the artist to do. Like, it wasn't even that long. And so I already made the video on that. And there was not really any, like lore things I could say about it like I could make other videos based on the logo uh, I also didn't make any new music during October so there wasn't anything for that uh, I've just been you know just kind of doing what I could but with that being said there are new concepts on the way uh, particularly for characters that have already been done but I won't mention who these two characters are uh, yet but I will say, I literally just got off the Fiverr page right there messaging an artist after trying to message another artist that hasn't really gotten back to me, so I'm just going to have to keep moving on. But other than that, actually, I will mention this before moving on to the next point. I'm going to try and not just leave the concept pieces to being just, like, once a month. I want to try, if possible, to at least maybe get two done this month. And even when those two are done, I'd like to actually start, like, finalizing, like what artists I should go for when designing like various aspects of Sherry Albert's story volume one. So I mean obviously like the front cover of the book, the back of the book, the neck of the book I think it's called, and then like the other pictures in the book if I do decide to actually keep like the pictures I'm thinking about in the book itself. And I will say as much that is kind of up in the air right now. But what I will say is I think I am going to actually put an afterword in after all this time. So uh, once I'm done recording this, I might actually go write that afterward, or at least write the title afterward, and then actually wait until, like, the, like, volume's near finished, and then actually write it out, look it over, and then go from there. Uh, and the reason I say all this is because I'm actually looking into self-publishing Sherry Arbor Story Volume 1. And the reason I'm looking into self-publishing is just because, like, I feel like if I could keep most of the rights and stuff to myself... For Sherry Arbor's story and whatnot, and I could just do it myself. That I want to see how that goes. Obviously, that means I'm gonna to have to like advertise myself and all that sort of stuff. But again, we'll just see how it goes, honestly. Because I don't really know if there's gonna be any like Irish like publishing company that's gonna look at something that's anime related and be like, mm, yeah, no, we don't really like that. I still kind of feel like there would be a stigma against it, but hey, that's just me, honestly. And it's plus, it's just me being greedy, wanting to hold on to, like, all the rights for myself, but... I don't know, man. I just feel like, for whatever reason, like, if I give the rights away to Joe Flair and all that, that, that's it. That's the end. Like, there's nothing else I could do. And then I become a slave to that company. Whereas if I self-publish, I can actually choose to, like, how often I want to work and how much I want to work, you know? There's no pressure to get it out unless like share out a story pops off and i'm like oh god i actually need to get volume two done as quick as i can um now the reason i mentioned self-publishing in the first place is because recently i've been aware or made aware of this program by amazon or kindle well same company just different name and it's like a self-publishing portal where you can like basically like fill out a bunch of details um, and then, you know, you can share, like, revenue with them and whatnot, but they don't, like, the main takeaway from it is they don't 
like own the rights to your book at all. They basically just want to be able to like mass produce your book and put it out there. Like, so it is interesting. And there obviously are other services that do the same thing. Like obviously Google would do something like that as well and Apple. Um, I don't know how many I should even sign up for if I do initially do this, but yeah. Anyway, that that's just that's probably going to be a while. That's definitely 2023 talk I'm on about now, but. Just thought I'd mention that now to let everybody know, like, that's my kind of plan right now. To basically self-publish and do, like, get ebooks put out of Sherry Arbor Story Volume 1. And plus, if I do it through um, some of them, like, I know the Amazon one, they actually do print out the books as well. Which is, like, a pretty cool sentiment. So I wouldn't have to worry about, like, you know, going to uh, a book printing company myself and be like, oh, yeah, I need this amount. And like, oh, well, we can only do this amount. And you have to then hold on to all them books physically and store them probably and all that and it's just a big headache that I just don't want to go through so yeah that's where that is uh, one little thing I just want to mention before we continue on basically talk about the channel now is the fact that I might need to redo Joe Knight Flyer's profile in the future so as you may know already I already did a video based on like Joe Knight Flyer's profile you know give him the name age and all that sort of stuff I may need to redo that because there have been a few changes in the story, like as I've been writing it, and just a few different thoughts flow through my head. I'm like, actually, I'll go with that instead of what I've put out already. So yeah, um, just in case anybody wonders, like where the Joe Snow Flyer profile picture or profile uh, video goes, it's probably gone because like I wanted to make a new one. So yeah, don't be surprised if a video just disappears. Right, on to more uh, lighter news. Uh, basically yesterday all four of my channels have gotten uh, new URLs and a handle so no longer is this channel tied to what it used to be the night flyer like the URL off the top of my head was www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash the night flyer now it's obviously youtube.com slash uh, forward slash and then at Sherry Arbor story and the S A and S again are all capitalized as well if you look in the description, I probably already have like said subscribe to the channel and you'll just see the link down there. And obviously the after the channel is Sherry Arbor Story 2. So yeah, we've completely cut ties now from like what this channel used to be. We can finally move on being Sherry Arbor Story, which is kind of nice, you know. So people don't look at the URL and be confused. Wait, they're like, wait, this says the Night Flyer. That's not Sherry Arbor Story, you know. But yeah, other than that... um. I love the way I was like, move on to lighthearted news, and now we're going to kind of go into like, not really dark news, it's just like, I don't know, it's just like, the channel itself, like Sherry Opera's story, will probably soon, like, not be as frequent as it is now, and the only reason it's been frequent is because there's still been a lot of shorts that have, like, yet to come out, like, as of right now, I think there's only like, three or four days, maybe even five days if we're lucky, left of shorts coming out, and obviously there's this video itself, which, I don't know if I'm going to upload this, like the day I make this, or if I'm gonna like just upload this after all the shorts have come out, yeah, come out. But like, eventually the channel will go silent. Don't worry. Like, share Albert story isn't going anywhere. It's just I've run out of content to put out onto this channel in particular because all the content from the other channels were still uploading to this channel and premiered. So yeah, don't worry about that. Now after going through all this, can I really say like when Volume One is coming out? I don't know. Like. I still think it's plausible that Volume 1 could come out in 2023. I just can't guarantee, like, even the season yet of when Volume 1 for Sherry Albert Story will come out. Because even when I've done all the artwork that's needed for the book, when I've polished it to Kingdom Come, because even now I'm just taking a break from polishing it because, oh my god, it's just like, you know, you just gotta give yourself a break from it. Like, Sure, I love Sherry Albert's story, but I I think I know too much now about Volume 1, like, so, like, I think I need to just calm down a bit and then come back into it and go again. Like, I've legit been, like, um, writing away more on, like, Volume 14.5 just because it's, like, something different to do that relates to Sherry Albert's story. And obviously recording this video is something different, too. But, yeah, hopefully I can just, just get my head down, especially because I don't know if I mentioned it on the Sherry Albert's story channel before, but, um... I am going to be basically quitting YouTube, like the Joe Snow Flyer channel, Joe Snow Flyer's Clips channel and all that, and my Twitch channel, Joe Snow Flyer as well. I'm going to be like lowering the amount of stuff I do for that, so basically it's just going to be non-existent on Joe Snow Flyer. 
I'm not going to stream probably at all, honestly. Because even now, I'm not really streaming as much. I just don't really feel like doing it anymore. And the Clips channel still has videos going up, so like I'm not really going to bother with that. That's just going to do itself, basically. The Archive channel is kind of good. And obviously, this channel is where I'll focus most of my attention in the future. So hopefully, with a lot of this redirected focus, I can actually, like do a lot more for Sherry Arbor story than I have previously and hopefully come up with more ideas for Sherry Arbor story like not even just waiting for concepts to make more videos like maybe I could do like I don't know just some other kind of thing maybe even like read out the blurb maybe for volume one at some point because I don't even know if I've done that I might have done that actually during attention publishers but I'd have to go back and check but yeah by the way attention publishers is a really good video if you want to know a lot of information about Sherry Arbor story inadvertently so yeah anyway Thank you all so much for listening to this update video. Hopefully the next time I do an update, it'll probably be near like maybe halfway through this month, maybe the end of the month, where I talk about like the concepts and all that. But yeah, if you do like this video, make sure to like it, comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. If you have any other ideas for Sherry Arbor Story and what I can do to get Volume 1 out sooner than later, then uh, please let me know below. Other than that, thank you again so much for listening. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video based on Sherry Arbor Story, the light novel series that I'm currently working on. Uh, this is the 10th update for Sherry Arbor Story, can you believe that? You know, I actually just realised that now when I started recording this, that it's the 10th update, which is bizarre to think there's been 9 other updates before this one, but hey, you know what? Let's just clap and just, I don't know, it's just, it's just funny to me that we're here, you know? Anyway. Let's get into little bits of news that we have for Sherry Arbor Story and, of course, update you all on where it is currently. So, as you may be seeing in the background right now, there is a new Joe Knight Flair concept piece out. This one depicts him being basically in his actual hero suit and isn't actually just one of his disguises this time. And I have to say, uh, bar my lack of design for the eyes, I actually think that this piece came out really well. The artist really, like, took something that didn't have as much detail before and just turned it into, it's just, it's so good. Like, I really want to look at it right now, but I don't want to mess too much with the computer whilst I'm recording, so I won't. But please, if you do have the chance, go check out that video. I just love it so much. I'm going to probably, like, tweet that out eventually as well. The picture is available on Instagram if you want to look at it on there. And, yeah, like, just, I really love it. The only thing that we'll probably do in the future, if we do get another piece done for it, or if I do uh, get, like, final art for it done, I'll probably either remove the eyes or redo the eyes, so, yeah. But anyway, that actually le literally leads me into my next point about uh, the new art pieces that I may get done soon may not be public anymore, unless these are just pieces I want to commission just for the fun of it. Uh, as you may know, uh, Christmas is actually next month, so I might actually get a Christmas piece with uh, one of the, sh like, I was going to say Sherry Albers characters, with one of the characters from Sherry Albers story, sorry, my mind's in, ugh, it's, it's being weird right now. Of course, I, I act like this now, when I start recording, but when I'm not recording, I am thinking at light speed, and I'm getting all my words perfectly right, so please bear with me. But yeah, no, to be real, um, I think, at this point, no more concept pieces to be shown in the public eye, Unless people want more, but I don't think people want more at this point. I think it's best for me to actually start, like, well, for one, looking at, like, the volume one, making sure everything's good. Maybe even look over the logo again for Sherry Albert's story and see if I need to redo that or not. I don't think I need to, but, again, it depends on various aspects. And, yeah, basically start trying to finalize more of the art and learn about how... To use art when publishing a light novel if there's anything i need to do that like i you know i want to make sure like when i do publish this light novel that i'm paying the artist right like if i just have to pay them through um fiverr or if i need to like pay them in any other means i'd like to know and obviously like um since i'm still working on volume one i also would at least like to try and think of somewhere i can go maybe <laughs> it might just be fiverr again but, like, go somewhere that, so they can verify my work, just to be, like, um, even just correct over it. Because I think at this point, I really just got to buckle down now and, like, basically get the artwork finished for Sherry Arbor Story Volume 1. And I need to get, like, the first volume finalized once I st uh, stop editing it now. I'm currently, 
like part way through editing volume one if you need to know because that's literally the next point and it's going well honestly there's surprisingly still some things that i'm rewriting even now and there's even some things that i've passed like just think about it now where i'm like oh man i hope i remember that so i can actually go back onto that like whenever i get the chance to redo it a bit and yeah so yeah <laughs> so uh this next point is literally what i was just mentioning how like the art style may be to do it may need to be decided soon because obviously as i just said there i may need to finalize it for the actual final uh draft a uh, draft <laughs> the final draft of sherry Albert's story and yeah honestly there's nothing else to say other than the fact that Everybody here went through a period now where like there was just no videos and now all of a sudden this should be the last video I think unless I reschedule but this will probably be the last video for a while on the Sherry Albert Story YouTube channel until next month where I might even make a video based on uh, Chris what like Christmas is like it uh, like on Janiki itself because as you may or may not know I've actually made a Joseph Night Flyer Summary 2 video, which talks about a bit about his past, just teases it a little bit. And yeah, I, I think that's the best way going forward. Instead of revealing more concepts, revealing more story bits, so that everybody knows a bit more about the story. Because even now, like, I, I have given a lot away during the Attention Publishers video, but I still feel like I need to give away a bit more info. Because I remember back when... I was first originally starting this, and even just this like first summary, I was scared to give too much detail. But now I'm like, okay, this is basically like what it like what stuff is. So I'm gonna get this out there and let everybody know what's up with Sherry Albert's story. But yeah, other than that, I don't think there's anything else to mention. Um, obviously, if something else does happen in the meantime, I will make another update video, whether that be this month or next month. Month is unknown, but I definitely will be making one like next month. And if no video appears for next month uh, that I need to do based on various things, then I may just have to make an update video like at the end of next year, letting everybody know, like saying, hey, <laughs> I'm still working on Cherry Albert Story, just to let you know. But anyway, thank you so much for listening to this short update video. Obviously, if you liked the video, obviously like it. Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. If you have any suggestions for what I should do for the Light Novel series next before I basically just work on Volume 1 all the time, please let me know below. Again, thank you so much for watching the video, and goodbye. Hello everyone, welcome back to another update video on Sherry Arbor's story. This is the 11th update, in case you need to know. So, we're here, we're at the end of the year now, and of course, as I said before, um, I was going to do at least an update video. I did say this on stream before, but now obviously I'm recording it again. I did record a uh, previous version of that. Sorry, I said that weird. Um, but I was like, you know what? That old one, like basically a day after I made it, it was already out of date. So I was like, okay, I'll just wait then until after the Christmas video to make another update video to basically close out this year of Sherry Arbor's story. So what has happened between basically like the last update and this update, well, I can tell you for one that Volume 1 has been fully proofread. And I mean like professionally proofread over, and I've proofread over the proofreader's work myself as well. Uh, there may be like this little edit I'm just thinking in the back of my head of doing at some point. But other than that, it's basically done. Um, all I need to do now for Volume 1 is literally just get like... I need to, like, basically I need to choose the artists because the multiple artists I've um, shown artwork from, like concept work, not all of them will be able to do artwork for, like, basically all the kind of characters I need. Like, some of the artists just don't do mech, like, kind of uh, art. And, well, if you look at Joseph Flair, I guess you can kind of count him as, like, a bit mech-ish. Not entirely, obviously, but I just kind of class it under that same category, like mecha in a sense. Uh, some of the artists also just don't draw boys for whatever reason or men so I obviously have to tick them off as well and then there's just some of the artists that like I don't know if I really want to go back to them for their work because it just doesn't like fulfill my kind of vision on like what art style I would like for Sherry Albert's story but yeah so next is literally getting like artwork done for inside the actual volume itself 
Then it's getting the uh, cover for like Sherry Albert's story done, so the book cover itself. Then it's getting the book registered. You know, it's going to have like a little barcode and all that, hopefully and all that. And then after that stage, I need to make sure I check over everything else. I think like maybe one other thing I might need to look into is like copyright and trademarking Sherry Albert's story. But again, that'll probably be far down the line before I even get there. But after all that, then it's basically just uploading the book to the various like book platforms and then finally, Sherry Albert's story will be out. And again, as I said, hopefully, 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 hopefully. I really do hope it'll be next year when Sherry Albert's story does actually come out. Uh, I can't guarantee, though, it'll be out before the anniversary of Sherry Albert's story, like the first video that came out. But I can say that hopefully it'll be next year if I could just basically kick myself into gear. Because when it comes to the artwork as well, I've actually been thinking that maybe I should get more character concepts done, or even just concepts in general done for other little aspects of Sherry Albert's story. And then basically, like, pulling in more artists, like, for work to judge and be like, okay, I might ask this artist to do it, or I might ask this artist to do all the artwork, you know, and all that. And I also need to, like, discover as well, like, how I'm going to get the cover done as well, because I don't think it's as simple as just to be like, oh, yeah, by the way, can you just, like, draw me, like, the book cover for my book, please? Thank you, you know? I think there's a bit more to it than just that. Because when I was looking up, like, different uh, book artists and all that, some of them, like, obviously will just draw the front cover and they won't, like, draw the back, I don't think, and the, basically the neck of the book. Uh, some will be like, okay, but you're going to have to provide me with, like, all the assets that I'm going to have to stitch together to make the book cover itself and so on and so forth. You know, I'm basically procrastinating to the highest order right now. And I'm hoping that after today I actually look back into more artwork again and decide if I'm actually going to get more artwork made first before choosing an artist to do all the artwork for Inside Volume 1. But again, you're just all going to have to wait and see. So, another thing that's been happening since Volume 1 is basically just finished and I'm waiting on artwork to basically shove into the book. I've actually started editing Volume 2 again and I'm... I think I'm halfway through if I remember last. And the only reason I, like, don't really remember is because yesterday was Christmas, so I took the day off. And along with that, today I actually had a good few ideas of what I wanted to include in Volume 15. So I actually, like, well, actually yesterday, you yeah, know, yesterday I actually put a few bullet points in Volume 15 for one of the chapters. And I also, I, like, I'm partway through writing the bonus chapter for Volume 15. Now, is it a good idea to write the bonus, like, chapter before writing everything else in the actual volume? I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see. But, yeah, so, theoretically, like, volume 2 and 15 are being worked on at the same time. I'm, I think I'm just gonna hop from one to the other. It just depends on, like, you know, if I run out of ideas of what to write for volume 15, I go back to volume 2 and edit what's there already. And if I just feel bored of editing volume 2 again, just like I've been editing volume 1 over and over and over again, I'll go back to volume 15 if I have more ideas and so on and so forth. So, other than all that, when it comes to this channel in particular, there was only one other video that was really released on this YouTube channel, and that was the Christmas video, if you want to go watch that. It kind of goes into a bit of detail about what, like, Christmas is like on Janiki and all that. And at the same time, I do have a TikTok up for that as well, if you want to obviously check out the at Jose Flair on TikTok. Uh, yeah, honestly, there's not much else I can add on to that. That is it. So, this is it. This is the final video, the update video as well, for Sherry Albert's story this year. Obviously, next year, I'd say around the end of January is when I'll probably do another update video, just like this one. But for now, I guess I better just, you know, wish you all... Well, not really a Merry Christmas, but a Happy New Year. And hope, you know, 2023 is a good year next year. Hopefully, I actually do release at least Volume 1, and we can determine stuff based on that. Like, even though I did say I have all this stuff planned for doing Volume 1 and whatnot, I also have plans for what to do to, like, basically advertise Volume 1, which, if I do, like, fall through with it, like, or go through with it, should I say, it'll be exciting to see, like, what I can do, especially in the advertising department of, like, getting the book known to other people. But anyway, thank you so much for listening to this video, the last video of 2022 on the Sherry Arbor Story YouTube channel. Obviously, if you like this video, give it a like, comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire, and I shall see you all next year. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another new video that's not on the release day for Volume 1 of Sherry Arbor's Story. Uh, in advance, I'm going to apologize that I even made that video, but like, 
I'm sorry, I, I was just memeing a lot, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to make a meme about this, and so on and so forth. But yeah, as you could tell from the thumbnail of that anyway, I put it brackets probably, so... Hopefully, you know, in the future, people aren't too annoyed that I did something like that. But, like, if I ever do actually have a proper video for when Volume 1 will come out, I will probably actually do an update video just like this one. And there'll be no memes involved, it'll just be like, okay, it's coming out, this is the date, it's coming out. But anyway, with that aside and all the memes starting to die down, I thought it'd be finally time to do another update video on Sherry Arbor's story. So, what has happened since the last update? Well, as I said there, a few memes have been uploaded, but one thing that wasn't a meme is actually the new chibi art for Sherry Arbor herself. This is the first time we were actually seeing Sherry, just like, you know, her full body, because before I just got the head um, shop commissioned for her. And now this is like a full body kind of thing. I know it's very like minimalistic detail, but it is very adorable though. And I love the image so much that I've actually like set it as my new Twitch uh, uh, profile. And I've also, oh yeah, I've also, you could probably see it in the background actually right now. I've put it into the uh, thingy image and I did make a few memes with it at the start. I don't know if I'm going to include that or not, but yeah, basically look around my Twitter and you'll probably f uh, see them somewhere. But yeah, other than that, I, there's not really much else that's been happening because this week in particular, I, like, basically I'm at the end of it now, like, day 7 of 7 now. I've gone through, like, the busiest week of my life, so I do apologize, not really much happened. I didn't really, even really, like, edit much of Sherry Arbor's story during that time either. I only really just got to edit a bit more of Sherry Arbor's story today, just volume 2. But I think maybe later I might actually dabble in, you know, editing a bit more of volume 16 and maybe just having a quick glance over volume 1 or something and maybe actually trying to order a new uh, art piece for Sherry Arbor's story. Since we all know at this point that I'm basically not going to get the cover of the book done until I'm actually satisfied with everything else around Sherry Arbor's story done first. But yeah, as I mentioned that, uh, I just remembered there, I want to try and break this like monthly cycle of being like, okay, here's one new thing about Sherry Arbor's story. Okay, that's it now for the month. See you next month. Even though that's probably legit what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> because it's just like, I'm making this after the 20th, just like I, I originally uh, did November and December's updates as far as I believe. And yeah, if you see another update that's like past the 20th next month, then you know I haven't broken a cycle yet. But to be fair, it's just like, I'm just, I'm being very, I'm just procrastinating a lot. And I want to like, make sure if I'm doing something, I want to do it right and I want to actually do it. I do have an idea for another new character concept for a brand new character that hasn't actually been shown yet so it won't be a rehash of uh, Claire, Lila or even Psychopath even though I feel like they might even need another refresh by now but again you never know maybe we'll see during this year if I do get another like concept for them again because getting someone to draw a character from scratch is like it's not that hard it's just like Sometimes the art mightn't be exactly what you think it is and then you have to say this this and this and obviously as you could tell from all the characters They do look slightly different in some way Whereas hopefully like if I do do this at one point, which will probably cost a lot now that I think about it I'd love to be able to get like Most of the characters together and get at least maybe like two to three drawn in the same style just to see what they all would look like in similar styles, rather than just having them all separate styles. But at the same time, I love getting different styles of the characters, just to see, like, how much different they could be compared to, oh, I'm just going to get it from, we'll just call this, like, Sherry style, you know, like the first concept image from Yanti. Um, so, yeah, obviously, other than getting concept for characters, I could get concepts for, like, the environments around in Sherry Albert's story. I could... Maybe work on another new music piece, but that comes every, like, once every blue moon. Like, even last year, I just, how much did I make? I made, like, three different pieces, but, like, the first piece was based off of my first original song. Uh, the second one was actually a new piece, and it's probably the best piece from Sherry Arbor's story so far, in my opinion. But then there's the third one, and it's like, it's okay, but I really like the rock section. I don't know why, just halfway through making that song, I was like, you know what? We, we have, like... The, you know, kind of menacing start to it. And then second half is like, yeah, let's just turn it into a rock song. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. I, I like rock myself and a few other genres. But rock and metal are probably up there, like really high. But 
I, it won't always suit the theme, though, of Sherry Arbor's story, so I'd probably try and tone down from that. If I do get back into uh, music editing, it's just my computer is very awkward with my uh, music program, so yeah, if I could just overcome that hurdle and just go straight into making music then, that would be absolutely lovely. But yeah, other than that, actually, I already said that I've started Volume 16. I forgot to even mention that Volume 15's first draft is actually done, and I remember it now because I just read Volume 15 and it just clicked back in my head. Basically, I was on, like, Chapter 3, and I was like, you know what? What if I just, like, wrote the rest of the story today? So on that day, I did nothing but basically write the rest of Volume 15, and it felt so good. I kind of want to do that again now with Volume 16. But again, I'll have to see, like, what I'm doing for the rest of today as I'm recording this, so... Yeah. And of course... The next piece of info is literally about how Volume 60 started, but you know you know that already anyway, so yeah. Right, uh, that's actually going to be it. I might upload a few more memes depending on how things go. I don't think I'm going to make new like Sherry Arbor story like uh, like summary or like character profiles or anything like that like I did for Joe Snowflyer. I just felt like with Joe Snowflyer, it, it felt more needed for his character, but I feel like for Sherry... Just getting a cheapy version of herself, of herself, sorry. It's just, it's not necessary. But again, I could change my mind. There's still, like, the whole year to go by. I could decide, even, like, when I've got another, like, 500 more concepts, that I'm like, you know what? I want to go back to that one time Sherry was a chibi and just make some, like, you know, just a summary on her. Maybe in her character profile. But who knows? But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Obviously, if you liked the video, obviously like it. Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. I can't guarantee that Volume 1 will come out this year. But what I can say is, hopefully, I'll at least be making one video of Sherry Arbor's story a month. Alright? It's just, that's the bare minimum. And it's also because, like, you know, I'm not in a rush to complete this story or anything. So don't be surprised if one day I literally just say, Oh yeah, by the way, I've just finished, like, writing the whole series. Because honestly, that could even happen at this point. Like, anything is possible, you know? But yeah, again, sorry for keeping you for so long. And sorry for rambling so much as well, but it's the first time I've done this in a while, so. Thank you so much for watching.